I really made a change in there. So I started coaching and I found that that's my passion. So earlier where I mentioned that you have to have a purpose, this is it. You have to find why you're getting into it. My purpose at the time was to get me out of everything, to get me out of what I'm struggling with, to get me out of what I'm dealing with, stuff like that. That, that was my purpose. But then to turn around and find a passion in things. I also found a passion in my mindset. When I tell you that your mindset matters here, your mindset matters. To become who I became, I had to put myself in therapy. I had to become a different person. I had to work on myself and get over my fears constantly. I read so many books on mindset to make me who I am today and actively apply what I was listening to. I didn't just listen to it. So when I say I understand that mindset and law of attraction seems very woohoo, look at how it changes your life. I am living proof that when I stopped living in my misery and I started putting the control into my hands and I started talking to sellers every day, even though I'm a millennial through and through, I love a text message. I hate a phone call. I hate phone calls. I, I, if it's textable, ask anyone. My sister, Alex, she's on here. She loves to call. I love to text. And so it's like, I am through and through, but I had to put myself into a position <laughs> to really move forward and do that. So I'm going, there was someone that asked, I need a list of mindset books that like help. I'm going to give that to you now. They're actually, my favorite ones are right here. So I'm going to pull them. And we are going to talk about it. And then I need to let Laura share hers. Um, first is Girl Code. I have my favorites up here. There, I have a whole list of them on my other bookshelf. This is the one that I was saying that changed my life. This is the one where I was like trying to get it to focus. Anyway, you know the gist of it. This is the one that changed my life. This is the one where I decided I needed to find a purpose in what I was doing and not just make money to make money, okay? Everyone knows if they know me, they know this is one of them. Rich as Fuck by Amanda Francis. I have a lot of lives of how this book changed my life. This book made me quadruple my income in the year of, I think it was 2022 or 2021. I don't remember. One of the years I quadrupled my income based on this book alone and mindset practices when it comes to being able to quadruple. This is when I hit multi-millions in real estate without doing extra work. Now, keep in mind, I had systems already running. I did bring my business back after I had my come to Jesus moment for my surgery. Like, what the heck are you doing? And one of the things I recommend is if you know you suffer from mental health issues, find ways to make it work for when you go down mentally. Okay, so I suffer from mental health issues. I'm well aware of it. So to make sure I never up and quit businesses, especially coaching if I'm depressed, I have things in my toolbox to make sure that I am always on my A game for my ladies, okay? Last but not least is Atomic Habits. This is really good if you are new to entrepreneur, uh, the lights, I'm sorry. If you're new to entrepreneurship and also just day-to-day -day life, but also entrepreneurship of really building habits to make sure that you are disciplined and you stay um, on your A game and little things, how little habits that you change will completely change your life for the better. And it's all little things. You're not going to have one big epiphany. I hate to tell you this. There is no big thing that's going to happen and you're going to feel so good and your whole entire life's going to change. And that rarely happens. It's usually little things that you have changed every single day to become who you are.